Good day everyone, this is your European Open Briefing for Friday 12th of August 2016. My name is Michael Frentiades, I'm the Chief Economist here at XM.com and these are the key points you should know about today. The US dollar made some gains more or less uh, stabilized after the Fed speaker warned about a possible 2016 hike. Chinese economic data were on the disappointing side, they were announced today, but overall not so worrying. There were not huge misses in expectations. Uh, there was a positive risk appetite. We had uh, news that uh, all three Wall Street indices made fresh all-time highs yesterday, something that hasn't happened since 1999 apparently and oil rallied after Saudi talk of potential action uh, during OPEC's uh, next meeting, informal meeting though. For today's calendar we have Eurozone GDP, the second estimate. We have US producer prices, not so important maybe, but more importantly retail sales and University of Michigan consumer sentiment. On to the dollar index, you can see it had tried to take on uh, the 96 level after we had uh, John Williams, the San Francisco Fed president, reiterating that it was likely that uh, US rates could uh, rise this year. Uh, inflation could rise, according to Williams, which would uh, force the Fed to act. And again, we see this speculation about a single quarter point hike towards the end of the year, driving the green back a little up or a little down, but more or less uh, trapped uh, near its uh, recent levels. Uh, we had uh, key Chinese data for July coming in on the soft side of expectations. Urban investment came in at 8.1% uh, versus 8.8% uh, expected. That was the biggest miss of expectations, while industrial output was more or less in line with expectations. It came in at 6% year-on-year, expectations were for 6.1. And retail sales also a little softer at 10.2% versus 10.5% expected. All of the figures were lower than the previous month. And um, I think the data reaffirms the picture of deceleration but overall things are still under control. The yuan also traded a little lower, but also we had a strong dollar today, don't forget that, so maybe that played a part uh, as well. And there was also some profit taking in the Aussie and the Kiwi, but these pairs have been very strong uh, lately, and there was a slight uh, comeback by the US dollar today. In other news, we had a big rally in uh, oil, crude oil, almost a 2% uh, rise in oil. At some point, we was uh, US crude was over $44 a barrel. Uh, why did this happen? The market started guessing whether there will be some decisions by OPEC in its informal meeting next month. Uh, the Saudi energy minister said potential action will be discussed. However, it might be, in my opinion, it's a little tough to expect action because yes, the Saudi minister is saying that there could be action, but at the same time the country's supply and production is at record, all-time uh, record levels. So it's, um, we don't know what to pay more attention to, to uh, maybe plans of some output curves or the actual production data that is showing a, a very high supply. Uh, however, overall, I think that the fact that oil managed to hold the for more or less hold the $40 uh, level, it, uh, it fell below it but came back up uh, above it and it's holding it for now, it could be encouraging uh, for dollar bulls, for oil bulls, I'm sorry. And petro currencies, of course, reacted positively. Norwegian krona, uh, Canadian dollar were uh, helped by this uh, move in oil prices. On to the today's uh, calendar. Uh, we had the German GDP, it was uh, stronger than the initial estimate at 0.4% quarter-on-quarter 
and a very uh, strong 3.1% uh, year-on-year flush. This also helped uh, the euro rally versus the dollar. Uh, we also have a eurozone uh, GDP flush estimate, which is expected as 0.3% quarter on quarter and 1.6% year on year for the second quarter. So that will be uh, very interesting if uh, that uh, is reaffirmed. We also expect later at uh, during the US session retail sales numbers for July to come in at 0.4% month on month and University of Michigan to come in at 91.5 from 90 the previous uh, month. Uh, it imp this data is very important for the US economy because the consumer is the main engine of US growth. We see that business spending was uh, very bad. We saw that uh, you know, ex net exports are also uh, negative maybe government spending also negative. So it's the US economy is running on the strength of its biggest engine, but it's the only engine that is running the, the consumer. So it's very important to watch what is happening. Just a reminder that Monday we will see Japanese second quarter GDP numbers. So that's all from me today. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.